This was one of those years with many Great List episodes, a couple by the same people, so this category has been split into two separate sets of nominees. First off, the nominees for Best Top Number List Episode with nine entries and under are... Cartoon Palooza, Top 5 Animated Dogs. Pluto. I actually had a hard time choosing between two Disney dogs. The other was Goofy, who by all accounts is a dog. Long ears, snout, and his original name was Dippy Dog. However, if I were to include Goofy on the list, it betrays the unspoken rule that Disney has established with these characters, and that if Goofy's a dog, then how come he doesn't have an owner like Mickey to Pluto? Pan Pizza, top five Halloween special hidden gems. Hey, remember Billy and Mandy? Well, no one remembers its grand finale, the Underfist Halloween Bash. Instead of chronicling the title characters, it's a story about the secondary forming a monster hunting team. It's a full-on, stupid-ass action special led by Hostel Gatto. Sonic Guru, top seven games I underestimated. Hey! Hey! Final Fantasy X. I'm not big on the JRPG genre. I mentioned this a few years ago, with it being one of the games that I liked and everyone else hates, only to find out it's more loved than I thought, especially after what 13 did. This is one of those games my brother rented from Blockbuster. You do know what a Blockbuster is, right? Well, for those who don't know, it's like a red box, but an actual store. And Vaulting, Morgan's top five favorite Muppet Christmas specials. Number four, A Muppet Family Christmas. This is another Muppet special that has a very basic concept while having fun with itself. Fozzie Bear decides to surprise his mother by getting the entire Muppet clan together for Christmas. And what better place but had her very own home. This causes problems because his mother had actual vacation plans and now she's stuck with the zany gang. And the best top number list episode with nine entries and under goes to... Vaulting. Morgan's top five favorite Muppet Christmas specials. And now, the nominees for best top number list episode with ten entries and over are... The Animated Heroine, my top 15 favorite animated shows. This show started out as part of a two-part show called Grim and Evil, which was a series following two separate stories that eventually split into their own separate shows. One was The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, about two kids enslaving the Grim Reaper to be their best friend for all eternity. And one was called Evil Con Carne, about an inept supervillain trying to take over the world. Evil Con Carne was very quickly cancelled after the two shows split. Animat's top ten list, top ten controversial cartoons. That's where the episode Blame It on Lisa comes in. Where the Simpsons go on a trip to Brazil to find an orphan boy Lisa was sponsoring called Ronaldo. The Simpsons would usually have a good track record with their humor by not pushing things too far. But with this instance, that's exactly what they did when they ended up committing the crime, racism. Subject, Brazilians. Pan Pizza, the top 10 unfinished cartoons. Ha! Boom, baby! We know Disney's Emperor's New Groove as the hilarious buddy comedy, but it was first intended to be a dramatic musical entitled Kingdom of the Sun. When I was a girl at my daddy's side, the father royal mortician. The musical was about the sorceress Yzma turning the Emperor into a non-speaking llama. She then summons an Inca god of death to regain her youth by blocking out the sun. And vaulting, Morgan's top 50 favorite movies. Number 48. The Rocketeer. Being a fan of the comic, I was surprised to see how faithful this adaptation was. Okay, maybe 70% of the time, but at its heart, it's kind of a 1940s Pulp Fiction crossover of Indiana Jones and those classic mobster movies. Instead of a man with superpowers, it's a typical aviator that comes across a jetpack. And the best top number list episode, with 10 entries and over, goes to... Animat's Top 10 Controversial Cartoons. By the way, two of those nominees covered so much ground that also nominated in the Best Multi-Part Series category, alongside a history on a famed Japanese animation studio and a lengthy rant about a surreal movie shot in a theme park. The nominees are The Animated Heroine, my top 15 favorite animated shows. 
The last two shows are shows that would definitely be on this list if I'd even seen about two-thirds of the episodes, which I have not. The first is Batman the Animated Series, which I do really, really like, but have not watched nearly enough to be comfortable including it on a countdown. Animation Look Back, the history of Studio Ghibli. Because Animation Look Back is taking flight in the world of Studio Ghibli. Now let's start with one of the founding fathers of Ghibli, Aiseo Takahata. Born on October 29th, 1935, he attended and graduated at the University of Tokyo in French literature. Some jerk with a camera escaped from tomorrow. It's not a Ben Stiller comic. I'm not some hack making mindless pablum for the masses like Wes Anderson or Noah Baumbach. I'm an artist! And now the time has finally come to review this non-Ben Stiller comedy with a subject matter so near and dear to my gag reflex. No more fluff pieces, no more synergistic sitcoms, no more watered-down attractions. This is one man's surreal interpretation of Walt Disney's personal pleasure palace. And vaulting Morgan's top 50 favorite movies. Over the years, the list keeps changing, so I feel it's fair to tell this one before it gets updated again. Without further ado, here we go. These are my top 50 favorite movies. You heard me right, 50. There was no other number to express my love and appreciation for movies. So, let's begin. And the best multi-part episode goes to... Animation Look Back, The History of Studio Ghibli. 